Good morning and welcome to the Beaufort Inlet in daylight hours. First time we're actually seeing where we've camped for the night. Yeah, it's pretty open actually. Way more open than we thought it was. Um, yeah. Or than it looked. We thought that like that side of us was just all like bush, but it's actually just shrubs and there's some more tracks. Gonna have a bit of a uh, bit of breakfast potentially, or maybe just I don't know, reheat some sausages from uh, last night. Get on the road so we don't it's ruck into cold. camp at 9 p.m. tonight. I'd like to get into camp in daylight hours today, if yes, possible. Me too. We were potentially talking about uh, maybe staying off grid this whole trip, so not hitting the bitumen the whole time. So we're going to head back through the back tracks to get to Foster's Beach. I think that's where we're aimed to end up today. But I'm just not sure we've got the fuel to be able to do that and then still keep exploring the next couple of days. So I think we will probably duck like back to the main road into Bremen Bay, fuel up, and then get back down to uh, to Foster's Beach that way. Yeah, or we can go to Boxwood Hill and get fuel there. Yeah. Um, whichever way, but we do need some bread. Yeah. But with that, let's uh, get this camp packed away, grab a bit of food, and then get on the road. I've had a very good idea. And this is for Daniel to do. And I always get annoyed about not having somewhere to dry our tea towels, because I normally just end up like laying them on the bench and hoping they dry. What if we put a little rail up here that's like hidden, or even just a bit of string, and then I can just like tuck my tea towel over it and, and hang it while we drive along, and it'll dry. Ta-da! It's a pretty good idea. So um, yeah, I might have to implement something like that pretty soon. Because she's right, it's one of those things that is annoying, like just trying to find, so even to dry like, I don't know, a pair of boardies or something, we could just- No, you don't put boardies in here. Bad, no boardies in here. No, okay. no beach just, towels, just no boardies, just Just, tea just towels. tea towels, all right. gonna to have to pop the tires up now to get back into Bremer Bay. If it was a shorter distance I'd probably leave it flat and just kind of drive slowly on the side of the road or you know just uh, get us into town like that but we are gonna to have to go back up to road pressure to yeah get into town then dot tires back down again to get to the beach we're gonna camp out tonight. So just while the tires are pumping up, I'm just gonna quickly check underneath the vehicle because a bit of this track was um, kind of like that straw stuff that pops up in the middle of the track. And what can happen with vehicles when you drive over that is some of that can get caught in just various bits and pieces under your car, like next to your exhaust, for example. And you're driving along, it's heating up and it can actually combust into flames. So not something you want when you're driving along the road, you can't catch on fire. So I'm just gonna look underneath, see if I can see any lodged in places that it shouldn't be. So tonight is New Year's Eve, um, well today is New Year's Eve I guess, and tomorrow is New Year's Day, so. And you can tell that by how busy it is in the town, so we yeah. just stopped off to pick up a few extra supplies, went up to get some bread and other bits and pieces and fuel up as well, and there's like so many people oh, in this small little town of Bremen Bay. Side note guys, I got him. 
I got him. Look. I, I hate myself so much for this. <laughs> Daniel hates himself. So we're in there looking at stubby holders. We wanted a stubby holder. We don't need any more stubby holders. I just saw this one and I thought it looked really nice. So I was like, you know what? Now's the time. I finally buy myself a nice stubby holder. I can live in the car. Be my car stubby holder until we get some explore bound stubby holders made up. If you can't beat them, join them. Um, yeah. I'm just in a habit, like, we also got a sticker to put on our fridge. Move your face. <laughs> um, so, got this lovely sticker. And a little sticker collection. Um, to add to the sticker collection, but I'm obviously collecting stubby holders as we go. And so, this one says good vibes and has Bremer Bay WA on it. So, yeah. that's why I was getting one. And then Daniel was like, oh, I really like that. And then hated himself the whole time, but really, he loves it. Anyway, we have all the supplies we need. Now, we're going to head off to find Foster's Beach. So we've just made our way down to Foster's Beach, a beautiful beach down here, lovely blue water, pretty unreal, hey? Yeah, it's spectacular and even right now uh, the sun's just come out and it's hitting this bit and it's uh, the sand is just so white yeah. and the, the water is just so blue, it's beautiful. We are just saying it'd be such a popular beach, like a hot summer, summer's day, there wasn't much wind as well, but... Yeah, and um, also hopefully we had to see it on the GoPro, but there's some like white sand dunes up the very top on the left and that is the edge of the sand blow that we actually want to travel across to get to Stream Beach. Yep. This beach is quite soft though, isn't it? It is, yeah. All the beaches down this way are pretty soft, but we've oh. been running 15 PSI the wow. whole time and haven't had a single issue, so yeah, 15 PSI has no been No wonder good everyone's down this end. The beach has just spread right out and it's really nice and firm. I'll probably and swim there too. There is like no wind because we've just ducked behind where that land spits out. Wow. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, these people are all camped here. I mean we could just add on to this convoy. It's it doesn't me seem like vibes. That's very true. Oh. I feel like it's going to fill in a fair bit in the next few hours there. Uh, New Year's Yay, Eve, it it's New, New Year's Eve, Eve so it's going to be a that. it's probably going to be late, rowdy. loud night, I imagine. I know it's gonna roll that way. Oh yeah. But does it roll this way or that way? Oh. <laughs> it's done a good job, folks. Trusty can of coke. Oh! <sighs> Go the other way. That's good enough. I can live with that. <laughs> That's pretty good.
We're very cold. We just had a swim. <laughs> so nice. Like we're both complaining about sore body parts and then one like five minute dip in that nice cold water. We're feeling pretty great. Yeah, I think our bodies are just so numb from the cold that you can't feel anything anymore. It's great. Yeah. Um, but no, it is. It's beautiful. And if there wasn't a wind like there is today, this beach would be stunning. Like For sure. So nice to swim at. We're on the south coast of Australia, really. So um, yeah. the, the water is icy. Yeah, we're feeling really good now I've had a swim. It was one <laughs> last time, we actually spent New Year's at Bremen Bay last year as well. And I came back and I was like, my one regret it was we spent a couple nights at Bremen Bay and I didn't get, uh, didn't swim in the water once. So yeah, we did think glad about Glad to it, have that just, ticked off the list this trip. Yeah, we didn't. And it was warmer last time as well. So. Yeah. But this time we're like, nah, let's just go for a swim. Yeah, just do it. Wherever you are, whatever beach you visit, just do it. Yeah, honestly, even if it's freezing cold, it is beautiful. Um, but yeah. yeah, just be careful of rips. Yeah. So, anyway. anyway, we're gonna dry off. I'm gonna have some snacks, got some biscuits and some dip. I'm gonna have some relax. Spagosaurus. <laughs> Alrighty, well, night has fallen and the wind has also fallen. It's really nice down here. Bianca keeps getting up me for jinxing things, so I'll quickly uh, touch wood because I've now said it's not windy. But honestly, yeah, it's uh, turned into a really nice afternoon down here. Bianca's been sandboarding. We've been for a walk down the beach to check out the, some nice rock areas down there. Yeah, it's nice yeah. and peaceful. And plenty of people cruising along the beach and having a good old time yeah, for New Year's Eve. So, absolutely. Um, it's a really nice chill vibe. It's uh, given very much like holiday, let's just have fun and relax vibe, which is lovely. Yeah, loving it. Just putting together some simple dinner now as well. Bianca's pasta speciality. Well, not really speciality. It's but... not my speciality. It's my special pasta that I can eat. Yeah. Um, it's a FODMAP one. So FODMAP, I have no idea if that's visible, but hopefully it is. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, I follow, roughly, follow a low FODMAP diet for my stomach and this is a pasta that we can have. We have it all the time at home, so we yeah. think it on camping. So it's pretty simple, we just combine that sauce with cooked capsicum and bacon, which Bianca is chopping up for us right now. Very slowly. Um, yeah, we've got some water on the bowl too, which will boil some nice spiral pasta to go with it. And that's our dinner for the night, and it should also make enough to do dinner potentially tomorrow night as well, or the night after, depending on how we're feeling. It's always, uh, it makes it easier when you have some meals, you can just like reheat in a pot and then eat rather than have to cook them from scratch. Should be a pretty good night though, so we're keen to get this pasta into us and get to just enjoying this very relaxing night. Pasta is complete and looking pretty delicious, if I do say so myself. How's it taste? <laughs> Bianca's is absolutely covered in cheese. <laughs> I have to show that to the camera. It's a bowl of cheese. Anyway, we're going to eat our delicious dinner and enjoy our New Year's Eve on the beach, which sounds pretty good to me. The wind is picking up a little bit, but it's not too bad. 
There's been a couple of uh, sprinklings of rain, but so far so good it's managed to hold off. Otherwise we will just set the awning up so we can uh, still sit out here if we want to, or just head up to the tent and enjoy the night relaxing in the tent. Mm. Many options. I've just been reading my book. Yeah. And enjoying some music. Yeah, just a, uh, a nice relaxing trip all around. So either tomorrow or the next day, we haven't decided if we want to stay here for a solid day tomorrow or move on. We'll decide that in the morning, depending on how we're feeling. If we do decide to move on, or whether it's tomorrow or the next day, we'll be moving on eventually. We're thinking about taking a, uh, a bit of a lesser known track just off of Foster's Beach, heading up to a dune system that's uh, kind of behind us right now, and that puts us across to a couple of uh, bits to check out. So Cape Knob is one of those. Uh, Stream Beach is another one, and then we can actually uh, ferret our way along to Dillon Beach after that as well. Mm. If the track actually is as it looks on the maps, which half the time you'll uh, you'll see a track on a map and you'll get there, and it will look nothing like what you thought it you'll would be like, this based is not on the a track, maps. This is just like an overgrown like rabbit trail or something. Yeah. So fingers crossed, that's our plan anyway. But we've got plenty of time here, so if that doesn't go to plan, we can easily just uh, adjust and go somewhere else instead, like we did on our way down to I think it was Palinup Beach yesterday. I'm um, on our way to the Beaufort Inlet. Anyway, thanks for staying with us for this day of travels as well, and we'll catch you guys in the morning. The time is 2:01 in the morning. We we're up in bed, getting a lovely night's it's sleep. Monday yeah. Monday the first. Happy New Year! So a car got extremely bogged in front of our camp and we were kind of watching them from the window. They were digging, not really, just trying again, you know, reverse forward, just digging themselves deeper and deeper every time. Yeah. So I went and had a chat to him and he's like, oh yeah, I don't think my four-wheel drive is working properly. His tyre's down 15, so he was doing the correct thing. <clears throat> that was my first suspicion that tyre pressures were wrong. He asked what we drove and I was like, D-Max, he goes, oh, bring it down. He's like, that's exactly what like, we need. Please? And I was like, oh, fine. Um, my fear in that situation, because they were clearly drink driving is that if you pull them out they may not stop and then rear end you um, but he seemed mostly with it with it enough for me to give him a snatch out so brought the D-Max down hooked him up pulled him out he proceeded to get stuck again so Bianca <laughs> got some cheeky again. footage of the foam will throw up here as well I did I snuck in some footage there you can't see who they are and we'll make sure you can't see number plates we don't even know who the hell they are yeah. so I think we snatched him out three separate times at least yes. And then I think his four-wheel drive just wasn't working properly, so we dropped his tires down to like. He's like, "Oh, don't go much lower than 12." I think I dropped him down like eight tires. Like, <laughs> we put him down to eight. Like, that we get him out, and uh, no, he didn't. Still didn't get him out. So I had to um, tow him up the beach a bit. Anyway, just wanted to update you guys on uh, how our night slash morning slash New Year is going. Great start to 2024. <laughs> well, we're having a better start than they are. So. Yes, that's true. Good night. Okay. Good night.